what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel so I'm refilming this intro I already did the work I wanted to do but um, well apparently I'm a noob and I filmed it in portrait mode and uh, I'm glad I decided to review it before my day was over but um, yes yeah, so what I'm up to right now is as you can tell yes we got a soft top but uh, let me put this window up here I um, I set out on a mission to uh, make it so I can see through these windows. So, as you can see, you can actually see out the back window now. Prior to doing what I'm about to show you in this video, you could not see out this window. So, let's jump into today's video and please let, let me know what you think or if you have any other suggestions, smash them down in the comment section. So let's get into it. All right, so what my mission is right now is you can see just how foggy these windows are. I mean, I don't even think you can see through there. You can barely see through there. <laughs> They're so bad. So let's, let's have a look inside. Can you see out of there? You can see just how cloudy it is when you're looking up at the light. So I'm gonna show you a, a down and dirty, easy way of making these look a hundred times better for not a lot of money. There's a lot of companies out there that wanna sell you uh, products that, you know what, they probably do work better, but I'm, we're talking $100 for a kit. And what I'm gonna show you here is about $10. So this is all you need. I mean, I'm using Meguiar's because I like their products, but there's other companies out there. There is uh, Simon Eyes, there's Mothers, there's Turtle Wax, they all make a clear plastic polish. You're gonna need lots of rags, and some gloves because, well, when you get your hands on this stuff for a while, it's probably not good for you. So I'm gonna get at this window, I'm gonna show you exactly uh, just how good it looks after we're done. Okay, so what I've done is I've just, you know, put a decent amount on here. I'm gonna just do a spot and we're gonna see uh, just how she looks. I mean, this is only gonna take, you know, a couple of seconds of rubbing, so. Let's just see, I'm trying not to get it on the top because it will leave a nasty, nasty white, white mark on there that is a pain in the butt to get off. So let's just do a circle here. And it, it does take a lot of wiping or a lot of rubbing and you may have to go over it a couple of times, but I've done this in the past and it works extremely well for what it is. Like, you know, this, product design for headlights and I mean I guess granted it's for acrylic plastics as well so why wouldn't it work on here but you can already see the difference let me grab a dry one here and, and wipe that off okay okay I hope you guys can see that can you see that there it's kind of yeah yeah you can see that let me get out of the way you can see that spot clear as day it it creates a heck of a lot more shine and it's taking away all the fogginess so it's it's gonna take a few passes on this one because this one's really bad an orbital polisher or some sort of a powerball polisher would be ideal I don't have that so I'm going old school by hand so let me uh, polish this out and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right so that's two passes of this on here and you can already see I mean you can compare the two windows look at how foggy this is to how clear this is in fact I think you could probably oh yeah you can definitely see through there much better now let's have a look from the inside how does that look can you see oh yeah I mean night and day difference so for ten dollars and I'll probably go through five or six rags to do this just to you know keep them fresh but um, yeah you don't have to waste money on that uh, top restoration or convertible window restoration kits, whatever they're called, there's no need because Meguiar's has you covered. This stuff, uh, I mean, if you haven't used it on your headlights, I strongly recommend it because it does an incredible job. I mean, look what it's doing for this top. Like, I, I really hope this is showing up on camera. 
it's it's really hard for me to to illustrate just how much better this looks can you see the cloudiness on here like can you even see through there yeah you can see through but she's nasty and then this nice and clean so i'm probably gonna hit it two more times and then we'll pull it outside and we'll see just how good it looks from the inside out outside in the sunlight because in here under the artificial light it's not really ideal so i'm gonna get back at it i'll be right back with you okay so another attempt at getting you a before and after so this is the rear the rear window you can see she is nasty i'm gonna try to do i'll try to get down the center here i'll try to do the center and we'll see what happens so yeah You can see just from one pass on there how dirty that is. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate our cloth and do a, another wet pass on this before we do a dry. I will say there is a lot of tree sap on this. You can see a big gob of tree sap, but unfortunately that looks like it's on the inside. So that'll be fun to get off. Okay, let's grab our dry one here. Okay, I really hope you guys can see that from this angle. You cannot. So let me show you here. See it on here? Where's that line? Yeah, you can see it clear as day. At least I can see it clear as day. Right down there. Works like a charm. So let's get this whole thing done. All right, there you have it. Completely restored windows. Okay, not really. At least we restored the clarity. Probably I would say uh, about a hundred times better than it was, so. You can see through that super nice now. Let's see. Yep, this, this rear window didn't come quite as nice as I had hoped, but uh, nonetheless, it does still look good. There's just, it's gonna take a lot. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it like this for the time being. I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on a uh, Powerball, and then uh, we'll revisit this. But I mean, these side windows, I can't believe how nice they came, so. Especially that one over there. I mean, even in the, the dark basement, it looks good. Yep. Pretty happy with that. So if you got a uh, soft top that's got nasty windows, don't jump out and replace windows just because they're foggy. And don't let anybody sell you on that uh, soft top restoration kit. Unless you really absolutely want to go, you know, above and beyond. But this for probably 90% of us is probably sufficient because we're taking it in the bush anyways. It just, I wanted that little bit of clarity for looking out the back window. So yeah, I'm gonna end this off here. So if you liked what you've seen, please smash that like button, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.